Hey, this is Witty, and welcome to the Warcraft 3 How to Use Hotkeys Guide. So, on the keyboard, F1, F2, F3. Select between your heroes, and that goes in order of which hero you built first. So F1 is my Archmage, F2 is my Mountain King. If I built a Paladin, that would be F3. Now, between 1 and 0 are your Bind On hotkeys. So by this, on how to bind something, you hold down Control and one of these keys, whichever one you wish to bind that unit or building or whatever to. So uh, he's going to be number one, my Archmage. So he's now bound on one. So if I go to F2, right. that selects my uh, Mountain King. If I go to one, it goes to my Archmage. If I go to F2, it goes to my Mountain King. If I go to F1, it goes to my Archmage. So you see how that affects it. Now, the rest of the keyboard, basically the middle of the keyboard, you can have hotkeys that are used for research, upgrades, abilities, whatever it might be. Now, they could be any letter. It depends how it's programmed in, and this is something you're just going to have to play around with and learn. So, for example, if I want to level up my Archmage, he's level 1, so if I want to give him Water Elemental, I will press O, which basically represents the hero abilities, as you can see, that little yellow bit, a highlighted yellow letter, O, and then once again, Water Elemental W, which is the highlighted yellow letter. So that's now researched that. I've now got that on my uh, Archmage. So if I press W again, I now have a Water Elemental. So if I want to combine my Archmage and Water Elemental together, so I could give them separate hotkeys, my Archmage is 1, my Water Elemental, as you can see, is Control and 2, and then drag click over both of them what is it now? and do control and free or you can just simply well, highlight one of them hold down shift and click on the other unit and this can go you can click 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 or just drag along and then hotkey is free again so if you want to mix it up all you have to do if you want to add units to this combination so you want to add Units to your units group, which is going to be two. So water elemental and two footmen. Re hotkey, so control and two. And then shift click on the archmage and three. And now they're all combined together. And if you want to lose a unit, then hold down shift again and left click on the unit that you wish to lose. This again applies for the icons at the bottom. So if I want to lose that footman there, because he's say for example on red health, left click him and then control re hotkey basically. So then you're, you're going to be like, okay, so how do I get that footman on his own? Because as soon as I press 2, which is my Order. units, they're both together. You well, you just do the same. You just shift, lift, click, lift, click the, uh, lift, click the archmage out, and then hotkey as 2. What is it? And as you can see, that all works. Now, the other thing I just want to mention are the inventory items. So, 7, 8, 4, 5, 1, 2. Stone token, so if I press 7, it activates him. Now the other last bit I want to get off my chest is if I hotkey all of these together, that's 4. The way to get around, if I want to select the footman and I haven't put them on a specific hotkey, or maybe I want to select the spell breakers over here, is you use tab, 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 and then I can press T to spell, steal something. And then maybe I want to move over to the rock golem. And instead of having to select a specific hotkey that I gave him, for example, 7, I just only have to press tab 1, 2, 3, 4 more times. And then I can press B to use his boulder. And then go back to the Archmage and summon a water elemental. Maybe the Mountain King might want to research clap and then clap down. That's how you do it. If you want to give yourself Q commands, so this means that you give yourself some your unit or specific hero or whatever to do something after you, your initial control. So if I wanted to attack that knight, okay, I would just do that. But I wanted to attack the spellbreaker afterwards. Instead of having to wait for the knight to die, all I can do, and then right click and or rather attack this spellbreaker, I can simply go attack knife, knight. So as you can see, I've pressed A, left click. Now you hold down shift and then A the next unit. And in terms of enemy units, you would just right click on them because they'd already be hostile. And this can go for movement controls. As you can see, he's auto attacking. I didn't tell him to attack after that point. That was already in the Q command. So the same can go for attacking the peasant. Hold down shift, left click on the peasant. 
he gets attacked next. And then maybe I want them to move down after they've attacked him. So this is very good for creeping. When you're attacking, say for example, a creep, and you just want to... Once you've killed the creep, and you just want to move down on the map, because you're going back to base, you want to macro. I'm building this, I'm building that, oh no. And then whilst that's all happening, and I'm macroing my base, my make-believe base here, so I'm upgrading the research here and that, look, you can see the ping's just gone off there. That means that my units and heroes are already moving down. I didn't even go over them and tell them to do it. I did that all with the power of shift. Shift is the key. Play around with it. Practice. It is so important. And I will go into more detail on that later on in the video. The rest of the video does explain other things that can help you out and goes into more depth. But I wanted the fundamentals at the start of the video. So enjoy the rest. So without further ado... As you can see, we had the keyboard and the mouse. Now that's pretty straightforward, you know that. But what hotkeys on the keyboard and mouse affect your Warcraft 3 game? Well, let's start off with saying the obvious one is the mouse, left click and right click are pretty important. Now on the keyboard, one to zero are your hotkeys for labeling. So you might want to label, for example, your town hall as nine. So if I click off that and then type nine, that's what I get, my uh, town hall. So now, if you have a hero out, which I will get one out in a second, as an example. So we have Archmage, Mountain King, Paladin. Now normally with these guys, I'd hotkey the Archmage as one, hotkey the Mountain King as number two, hotkey the Paladin as three. This is all dependent on how many hotkeys you're gonna have in total, because you only have between one to zero to label. But if you are struggling for hotkeys, and you don't have any room from 1 to 0 for heroes because there's too many units and buildings on there then you can access the Archmage, your first hero built, by pressing F1 you my as you can see, F2 selects your second hero built Aye. and F3 selects your third what hero built but personally I prefer to have them on the actual 1 to 0 hotkeys now then there are the rest of the hotkeys that affect your researches, your upgrades, your unit abilities pretty much everything and that is pretty much all of this section over here pretty much the middle of the keyboard so if I wanted to research water elemental I would press W if I want if I just dinged and I wanted to go and get myself oh I don't know blizzard as you can see O so I'd press O B and as you can see this affects all your hotkeys if I wanted to use blizzard press B again left click straightforward Seems really obvious right now, but it will get a bit more detailed as you can tell. And W for water elemental. So as you can see, that's how that affects things. You then have hotkeys that affect your inventory slots. And these hotkeys are found on the right hand side of the keyboard. So 7, that's 7, 8, 4, 5, 1, 2. So if I was to buy an item for the Archmage, and I wanted to replenish his mana. I could either use the mouse and click on it or if I'm wanting to I can just use the keyboard although this is very tricky because it's difficult to use the left hand side left hand to get to that when you're using the left hand for other hotkey use and to take your hand off the mouse to do it don't ask me why but this is the way it's been programmed in so I would press 8 to use the item generally a lot of people do tend to click on items and kind of rightfully so because it's just quite a pain in the ass to keep taking your hand from the left hand side of the keyboard or like I say the right hand side on the mouse so you can fix this with war keys now this isn't a guide for war keys I'm just simply mentioning it if you want to know more about it then google it I have it installed and I use it and what I've done basically war keys can do several things you can basically change the hotkeys for example the upgrade for long rifles if you didn't like it being L you can change it to U you can judge everything to U if you wanted to for whatever reason but I don't delve into that the only one that I have delved into are the auto hotkey bits which I think affect the inventory slots because this was by far the most annoying for me so for example I've programmed say this numpad 7 to actually be at the F1. So it overwrites. So if I press F1, F2, F3, I will no longer select my heroes. They're out of the picture. I use the numpad, rather, the normal numpad for a 1 to 0 to use my heroes. 
<coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so this is an ideal situation for me to do this recording, but what the hey, I have no choice. It's got to be done. So, for example, if I wanted to use that scroll of regeneration, I would actually press F1. Because I've got F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6. You get the idea. But unfortunately, the standard Warcraft free keys are using numpad 7, which is just... It's up to you. Look it up. I'm not going to do any more talking about that past this point. So, that's pretty much all the hotkeys on the keyboard that you will be using. You can always use up, down to get around, but no one's going to do that. You're going to use the mouse, basically, to scroll around, almost definitely. So, moving on. Let's see, shall we? Okay. What I need to do is I need to show you, for example, let's start off with the buildings before I move on to units because the units are going to be more complicated. But when it comes to buildings, I prefer to put those hotkeys on the right-hand side. So if I was to label up my base as it is at the moment, Town Hall would be 9. Research, which is the blacksmith, is always 0 for me. Then your primary building uh, uh, units... Uh, production facility, if that's what you want to call it, apparently, is 7. And then your next tier up might be 8. And when you get to this point where you have so many buildings like this, what I tend to do is I no longer have the Town Hall pocket as 9. Early game, I'll have Town Hall as 9 and Altar as 8. But as the game progresses past the tech point, I will no longer have the Altar hotkey. It will just be 9, 7, zero, eight, and then I'll be overwriting that nine with the Arcane Sanctum, and then I'll be overwriting this blacksmith with the Griffin Avery. I don't really want to overcomplicate things, but this is how I do things. You can do things completely your own way, but this is how I do things. Now, another thing you might want to use building hotkeys for is you can quick, you want to have like um, a spare hotkey or two. Mine are basically five and six. I use these and sometimes zero for obscure units, buildings, whatever it might be. For example, if I have a blade master inside of my base harassing me, I'm too busy to try and click on the arcane tower. So when he's coming into my base, or rather to click on it every time, so I'll click on the arcane tower, pocket it as five. So then this way, whenever I'm using my heroes, running around with them, if I want to use my arcane tower to focus the blade master, if he has grunts in the base, so instead of wasting the arcane, ta arcane tower's hits on the grunts, you can focus on the actual hero itself, which is what you want to do to drain his mana. So you press 5, attack the blade master, or just right click on him, wherever he will be. Hey presto, it's that easy. And then you can always replace that hotkey again with something else. So that's the building hotkeys for me, and this goes for every race basically. If you want to make it easier, you can just simply put all your production units in 7. This allows me to have my altar for 8, my town hall for 9, and my research for 0. That way I can fit all of my hotkeys in. The only problem is, is that I have to tab through this, and that's a matter of personal opinion whether you prefer to tab or just sacrifice a couple of building hotkeys like town hall and altar and have your buildings that you're probably going to be using more often on the hotkeys instead, 890. So I hope that's fairly clear. You can get a rough idea on how I do things. So moving on. Okay, now I'm going to talk about how you will use hotkeys for your heroes and units. I will simply explain it with how I use hotkeys for heroes and units. So my heroes will go on the hotkey 1, 2 and 3, depending on how many I have. But I always start off with my first hero being on hotkey 1, and my units will be on hotkey 2. Once I have too many units, for example more than 12, then I will basically move the next set of units onto 3, or separate them. So I might have 8 footmen on hotkey 2, and 6 rifles on hotkey 3. You get the idea. And then it moves on and on and on. Generally I try to go for melee, rifles or range casters and then like mortars or obscure stuff for like five and six you normally won't hit that many units but if you do then that's what the hotkeys are there for 
number seven and onwards are almost always buildings. If I really have that many hotkeys, like mass mass gyros or something, I will basically lose my building hotkeys because they aren't that important. Macro isn't so important in this game as micro is. So feel free to override your building hotkeys as necessary. So, to start off with, we get our hero out. So, Archmage. This had better be worth it. Yes, this better have be worth it indeed. So, to hotkey the Archmage to number one, you hold down control, left control, and press one. Now, if I click off, to get that Archmage back, press one. That's how you hotkey units, how you bind them from one to zero. This applies to units, heroes, buildings. So, I'm going to get myself a footman out as well. Ready for I'm going to hotkey him, control and two, hold them both down, and that way I've got a footman and I can switch between the two very quickly and easily. Now, what I also do, standardly, is <coughs> I put my hero with my uh, footman. Now, how did I do that so quickly? Well, I'll tell you. To combine or basically mix units, you select the Archmage, then you hold down Shift and left click on the next unit or drag over multiple units. This means that you can then combine those to hotkey free by pressing Control and free. So one is hero, two is footman, and three is both the hero and the footman. So I can see everything. Combined. Yes, my liege. So, to put this into a scenario which you would realistically use when the game starts or when you're about to creep, is for example, I've got a creep camp over here. This is like your nearby green spot which you will always head towards first. And typically, you will have an archmage come out and a footman come out at the same time to go creep it. You require my assistance. Ooh, did it do? Oh, by the way, that's the five, see? So you're ready to easily click. But anyway, coming off of that. Okay, so your hotkey, you remember your building hotkeys? Well, eight is your altar, seven is your production units, basically. So eight, right click to put the rally point down. That means that your units are going to come from that production building towards where that flag is. And then get your seven, which is your barracks, and right click that as well. So your units and heroes are going to head straight towards this creep camp once it comes out, mm -hmm. which I need to turn off star. There we go. Okay, so Archmage, A for Archmage, F for Footman. Archmage is heading. As you can see, I've hotkeyed those already. That's what you want to do. You want to be ready to hotkey them instantly. Get close to the creeps. Water elemental down. Takes the aggro, and then you can attack. Now this is shift clicking. Shift is the key for everything. How do I click onto those ones automatically? Well you hold down shift, right click on the null brew, and then hold down shift on the next unit that you wish to attack, and then the next one, and so forth. And not using my fingers you can see that I auto attack onto the next target. You can achieve this by just attack moving, however you will just randomly attack whichever target is closest by doing that. By using shift control or shift right click you can give specific commands and the same goes for movement as you can see if I want my archmage to dance around the footman I would instead of just holding like that I could go like this and then let go and he's just gonna go wild as you can see so you can get ahead of yourself by using shift you can essentially stay way ahead of the game and it is by far one of the most important keys that you could possibly have. Right. What is it now? What is it now? That is a good question. I mean, I'm trying to keep this straightforward and simple, and you can go explore onwards. Um, so, for example, obscure units might be your Zeppelin. I laugh in the face of danger! So... <laughs> I use Zeppelin for hotkey 5, and if I've already used hotkey 5 for my main units, such as priests, mortars, or tanks, whatever it might be, then the Zeppelin will move to 0. This is for me personally, you can basically play around and work with what works for you. But the reason why it's important to put something like a Zeppelin, or what I would call an obscure unit, something that you may not normally get, but is important nonetheless, 
is you can use the Zeppelin for micro. Now it's going to be very difficult to use the Zeppelin for micro if you have to click on it every single time and try and find it. But if you've got it on hotkey 5, you see my Archmage and my Footman are still hotkeyed. That's going well. Let's give myself a little bit of an army. Let's say for example, um, yes, i got an idea. <laughs> We've got four footmen over here. And they're going to be the enemy. Oh, five then. <laughs> Why not? Five footmen. And they're going to be the enemy here. There we go. So, I'm going to give myself slightly more just to make this easier. But you get the idea. It's what's going to happen is we're going to... Oh, hello. you got a large acquisition range. What we were going to do is basically play around and use the Zeppelin to... I'm trying not to show off too much micro, but I'm showing how you would still use hotkeys. Oh, there we go, night time's coming, you can't see. And he's coming back for the map pack. Fair enough. So we put down our units. Now, the footman will automatically go for your attacking units. So, you want to have five ready, nearby, to pick up the nearest unit that's about to die. So instead of having to click on it, oh, I can't click on it because of all these units, you get five, right click on the unit, boom, you just save that unit's life. That's why you put obscure units on a hotkey that is near, or basically in between your buildings and your main units that you're going to be using, so you can access it very quickly, very easily. That's why I like to have something like a second. I'm trying to think of any other obscure units, but if you can, obscure units, builders, whatever it might be, it might even be, for argument's sake, a farm. Let's just say that this... <sighs> Fine, I'll go and just build it, shall I? <laughs> just to show it off. But this is another example of obscure units, buildings. Right, okay, so we've got a goblin laboratory on the map here. My hero and that are miles away. In advance, I built myself a farm. Now, why did I do that? Well, the reason why is because goblin laboratories and buildings like that work on a select basis. You have to have a unit nearby in order to actually use it. So, the farm. Later on in the game, instead of like having to fiddle around looking for the goblin laboratory, wherever it may be, or the farm, I could just um, hotkey the farm to zero. My, obscu my other obscure hotkey, which is closer to buildings, because it is a building. And that way I can quickly, so if I'm all the way over here on the map, I just go zero. If you double click it, it takes you straight to where it is. Right click on the goblin laboratory, get myself a shredder, right click it back on the mini map where my base is, so for example up here, and then double click on my mage, and get going again. So I'm trying to think of anything else. This is a really straightforward guide to be honest, there's nothing too advanced here. I feel like more or less it is covered, but just the fundamental basics are heroes between 1, 2 and 3. I suppose what I could do actually is... Do -do -do create a standard army Our are under so let's say uh, do -do -do. just get that guy over there just to clear up the trash so we're looking at a typical human army that you might have late game let's say for example late game I'm going to try and make this a little bit more complex, just for argument's sake. <laughs> okay, so we've got a very large mixed army here. How am I going to hotkey this? Well, we're going to start off with the Archmage. He's going to be hotkey 1. Mountain King. I'm not going to go for free heroes, but you can... Essentially, the whole idea is... I'll, I'll just explain this in a second. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, Archmage, number one. Mountain King, number two. Your melee units, specifically, preferably, number three. That doesn't include steam siege engines, because I count them as an obscure unit. Once again, so we've got Archmage, Mount King, media units. Then I technically, sometimes it depends if I'm doing casters first or 
ranged, I might... If we just say, for example, ranged, so we put mortars within rifles category, so those can be hotkey four. Then five is... I've not got enough hotkeys to separate my sorks. I could, but I'd rather not. So I could have my sorks at five and my prison at seven, but then these guys have got to be on eight. Now, I did say earlier about the buildings. I do like to have seven. Up to seven. And I don't like to basically over hotkey. But if you have such a large mixed army, then feel free to go over your hotkeys on your buildings. Because like I say, you won't be macroing much. Just make sure that, for example, your production buildings are always hotkeyed. So you might have to move that from seven to, say, nine. If you have this many units. Which you might do. Because we've got our range. And we've got our casters. So they're going to... To keep to keep them all together, for example, if I press control, it will put all the units of that type into a group. And then, how do I get all the sorceresses? Well, you hold down shift, because you're mixing them into the group, and then control at the same time, and that will select all the sorceress types. And then control, and five. And then put them onto the next type of the group. And then I've got some obscure units, like dragon hawks, because I might want to use cloud. Let's go research and cloud whilst I'm at it. Research In fact, let's go research. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Yeah, that'll do. I didn't actually need that last one. Threw that in for fun. Okay, so we've got our dragon hawks and then we've got our siege engines. <laughs> this. So how is this going to look? Well, basically you're going to just attack. So be one, if your enemy is up here, it'll be 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A. And everything will move together. But in the standard game, you're probably going to move out with your steam tanks in front, your mortars at back. So if you don't want to use a hotkey, you can always just hold down control and left click it and it'll bring up all the unit types. So separate my units. My cast is sort of in between the range and, and my melee and my dragon hawk sort of overhead. If you really want to make it easier for yourself and not use so many hotkeys, you can always do this. Press M and then left click on a hero or a main unit that you're always going to be controlling to move around. This is what a lot of people do. Now, it works, but it's very dangerous because if you're, say, moving around with your Archmage, all these units are following it. Well, if one bat comes along, it can blow up all of the units because they stack. They stack very nicely, especially air units if they're following a hero. So this is something you need to bear in mind. But if you don't want to actually have to the obscure units like dragon hawks and siege tanks, you can just right click onto your hero and concentrate on using your hero, your other hero, melee, range, and casters. Because you won't really. I mean, you can right click everything on the hero, but you don't want that. Thing. You want to have some sort of control, at least between one and five hotkeys. I think that's pretty manageable. Once you start going beyond that point, it gets a bit crazy. But we're going to... Say, for example, um, create a little scenario here. Let's say, for example, an orc army. Going to make a quite tricky, nasty one. I think that'll do, to be honest. Yeah, that'll do. So I'll get an orc hero out. So it's quite a beefy army, actually. Bring it on! Bow down! Tell me I, I am able to help. Bow down! Direct me. Bring it on! I answer the yes. call. Yes. Your order. Who do I kill first? Yeah, yeah. What is it? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these guys hostile. I'm going to have to hotkey them quickly just so they I don't TK to each other too harshly. What would you ask of me? There we go. So we're going to treat this as a typical enemy army. This isn't actually a micro guy, but I'm just showing you how I'd use the hotkeys. So siege tanks, you're pressing 7 to get your siege tanks at the front. 
So the siege tanks are going to go in first, because that's what you would normally do. And then everything else is going to attack, move, in. But as you attack moving, you're going to be ready to use specific oh, units, yeah. like dragon hawks or maybe uh, sorceresses and priests. So yeah, let's do that, shall we? So attack move in. Okay, so you're going to get your dragon hawks, you're going to hotkey like that. You're going to use your sorceresses for polymorph. For example, then you're going to use your priest to maybe inner fire specific units that you want to, and then you're going to select your mortars, focus the casters at the back. Mountain King's about to die, so move him back. You could even use a sorceress to cast invisibility on the Mountain King, keep him alive. You use eye. Eye is a bit of a more difficult hockey to get to, but you can get the idea how it all works. And then you just keep flicking around these hotkeys. Make sure your tanks are positioned nicely and you can actually decimate this army, as you can see. I mean, I did have the advantage by no doubt. I gave myself more of an advantage there because I didn't want to lose against the hostile computer. But you can see how hotkeys are so important. How they work for macro and micro and just general comfortable play. So I'm pretty sure that's about it. I mean, I could go on, but if there's any more questions, I will try to answer them. So feel free to ask questions. But bear in mind what I've said. It's going to get a bit painful if I have to keep answering the same... Oh, look, he's coming back. <laughs> don't know where he came from. He wanted some more. Uh, uh, bear in mind that I don't want to have to keep answering the same questions over and over. So if there's anything I haven't already covered in this guide, then ask me that question. If I have covered it in this guide, then don't ask me. Simple as that. Mm, right, so main things to bear in mind, hotkeying, in order to bind a unit from 1 to 0, hold down control and the number that you wish to bind it to. In order to shift Q or Q, put Q commands, hold down shift and then you can right click. And as you see the Archmage, I can then let go of that and the Archmage will go and follow the commands that I queued him to do. To combine units, select the Archmage, hold down shift, maybe I want two sorceresses, maybe I want to be very specific and only have that knight, so I just left click on that knight only, my hero, and two dragon hawks, and then I can hotkey all of those, because you're probably going to want to hotkey them straight away, otherwise if you misclick then you're going to have to do that all over again, so I'd hotkey them to say for example, eight. That's the specific mix, I've got all my normal hotkeys, but if I really want that particular group all I have to do is press eight, and then tab is an important hotkey to go in between your unit types whichever priority so heroes get priority they will always be at the front so if you really want you can just put all your heroes on hotkey one but I personally don't like to do that I like to have a separate hotkey for each hero it's just the way I do it okay I think those are really the main hotkeys and that's it abilities will basically range from here so you can have I for hide O for level and stuff like that. U is almost always upgrade. That works for town halls and stuff like that. So um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, feel free to support. And please subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my Twitter and Facebook. And if you've got any questions, like I say, help each other out in the comments section. You don't have to necessarily get an answer from me, but I will try to respond if I can. And uh, work together. And uh, hopefully we can all use hotkeys a little better. So, thanks once again. See you later.